Hey guys, I'm Delaney here at Warm Glass Gallery and Studios. And today we are going to be making a picture frame using photo transfer. I wanted to make a present for my mom and dad. And so I picked a wedding photo for my picture. The picture frame I'm making is five by seven and I've chosen really calm and elegant colors for my wedding picture. These are my colors that I've chosen and they're from Bullseye Glass. So I've chosen French Vanilla, Warm White, and a Venturine Blue that is a streaky. Now I'm ready to lay out my picture frame. You guys can copy me if you want, or you guys can make up your own. I'm going to offset some of my pieces because they'll make them look a little cooler. Okay. Now I'm going to put it in the kiln for tap views. And tomorrow I'm going to be bringing in a special guest to help me with photo transfer. Bye guys, see you tomorrow. So my picture frame is out of the kiln and I think it looks really great. And now all that's left is the photo, but I don't know how to do that. So I'm going to ask Jody and she has written a book on photo transfer and other things too and she also has a pdf let's welcome in jody hi delaney hello high five so how do you do a photo transfer and do you have to be an artist or a photographer because i am not really well i think that it's hard for example it's hard to for you to draw your picture of your mom and dad's wedding so it's yeah. a really good thing to be able to do this because you can take the fun thing about photo transfer is you can take either any of your pictures or if you did a drawing that you love that you want to put in glass and put it in the glass and it's really fun and you don't have to be an artist or a photographer or anything you just want to have fun Okay. okay, so since we have our picture frame and we know what sizes we want, the first thing we want to do is mm -hmm. uh, print out our picture and our dates, the stuff that's going to go in here. So we don't waste our money on our um, decal paper, right? Okay. <laughs> we would rather waste money on photocopy paper than our decal paper. Yes. So we did that. So we want to lay it out. Do you want to help me lay it out and make sure yes. everything fits? So we wanted to have your mom and dad's name. And we wanted to have their date for their wedding. And their picture, definitely. And their what? Yeah, of course, a picture too. That makes sense. And so that's what we want to do. It looks perfect. So we know we're ready to go on to the next step, which is okay. printing out the images on the decal paper. Okay, got okay. it. Let's okay. do it. Let's do it. So what do we need? So the first we need, thing we need is our picture frame. Right. And the second thing we need is our, our image. image. Yep. And the third thing we need is decal paper, which looks just like this. Um, and you can, we have what's called uh, decal paper that you can buy from us. Or if you choose to use somebody else's decal paper, make then sure you follow the instructions on theirs. On theirs, exactly. So we always want to make sure that we follow the instructions with whatever we've got. So the decal paper comes like this and it has this like a film on it. So you don't want to take the film off of it until you're ready to print it. Okay, so we're just going to that print. So the, the last thing we need and the most important thing we need, well, not the most important, but one of the four most important things we need is, is a laser printer. A black and white laser printer, exactly. And it has to have high iron oxide content cartridge. That's a lot. That's a lot to say, yes. But it's what makes the iron oxide is what makes the ink stick to the glass. So without that, you wouldn't have, it would just wipe right off. So HP makes the best printers, I've heard, but 
Um, there might you be might other ones. You might have different laser printed spectrum. Mm -hmm. The cartridge is, as long as it's got the high iron oxide, oxide. content, then we're good. Black and white printer, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what we're gonna start with. Okay. Now we're gonna go print our pictures. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so Delaney, we've cut, we've printed out all the pictures that we're gonna use. You can see we've got some extra ones in here. They're gonna be little bonuses at the end of the mm -hmm. video for you can see. But the reason why we printed out extras is because it's expensive paper and you can mm -hmm. only print it once. So okay. you you want to use it use as many as much of the paper as you can so you don't throw a, a okay. bunch away. So now it's time to begin cutting. So go ahead and cut out your mommy and daddy. Make sure try not to go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to cut along the edge very carefully. You do not really want to put your fingers on the you're fine. Oopsie. You're doing perfect. You just don't want to put your fingers on this because what this is, is it's a little film. The black that you see is a, a very fine film that's going to be, um, the film is printed on the paper and so we're going to slide the film off the paper and slide the film onto the glass. And so you can cut it in a rectangle like you're doing right along the edge or you could created really whoppy jar edges if you wanted or crazy stuff. So you don't, just because a picture has a rectangular edge doesn't mean you have to do a rectangular edge. You're doing awesome, babe. Keep going. Thank you. You're doing awesome. We also have other pictures for another project that we are going to be making. Yeah. In the other part of the video. Yeah. All right, so we're just about done with the cutting, you're doing great. So if Delaney hadn't wanted the, if you had not, well, so let me just show you. It, beautiful, you did awesome. So this is what Delaney did, she did a great job. And if she had decided she didn't want the background behind her daddy and mommy's head, she could have cut around them and it would just been her mommy and daddy on the glass. So that's also a possibility to do. Awesome job, girl, high five. Okay. Okay. So now we're at the portion where we're going to put the image onto the glass. So the first thing we need is we need our picture frame. Definitely. Okay. We need our picture. Mm -hmm. Then we need um, a roller or, or a brayer. Yeah. We need some. Oh, you can use a squeegee. A squeegee. We don't use the squeegee very much. We like the brayer better, but you could use a squeegee if you have one. And definitely some warm water. Warm but water. Mostly a little bit more hot. Yes, on exactly. The hot side. On the hotter side. The hotter it is, the faster it comes off. Mm -hmm. And then we need our two very important paper towels. Okay. So. Let's start. Okay, let's start. Mm -hmm. So to begin with, okay, so you're gonna hold the image. What we're trying to do is have the film come away from the paper. Like back. a tattoo? Like a tattoo. So a you're just gonna, one. yeah, fake one, fake one. So go ahead and you're gonna hold the paper and put it in the water and then you're gonna Count hold it for about 20? 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Go ahead and slide, slide, hold both sides, hold both sides. And slide it in. Get and everybody under. Of, get everybody under the water. Okay. okay. And then wait for about twenty seconds. Okay. And tick, keep tick, keep tick, everything tick. under the water. Yeah. There we go. Everybody under the water. It's already it's coming off. To come All up. right. So lift it out. Lift it out. Okay. That's fine. And go ahead and put it down. Okay. Now go ahead and put it down in your paper and hold. Yeah. Uh -oh. no, it's just, really starting to come Yep, off. slide that edge. Pull that pull this edge out. And then you're gonna put your finger down. Up yep, you want me to put my finger down? Sure. I'll put my finger down and you slide the paper you slide out. Slide very gently. slowly. Yep, slowly. It's okay if it moves. Oops. There we go. Now you can put it down. There you go. Go ahead. Perfect. Okay, now And then now we're, we're gonna going line to... it up. It's okay if that has some bubbles because we're gonna fix that. Yes. It's very important to get the bubbles out from underneath the eyes, especially on people. Mm -hmm. So we've got it lined up the way you want it uh -oh. to be lined up. Mm-hmm. Okay, so she's perfect. Okay, they're perfect. I mean, you, you lay your paper towel on gently. We're gonna use our 
sprayer. sprayer. And, oops, don't start at the back. Start in the center of the piece okay, and, and roll okay. out. Okay. Right, roll out from the center. Very good. You can see the water is coming out from underneath the, the decal. Good job. Okay, now lift up the paper towel. And let's, see if there's, let's see if there's any Bubble. there, bubbles. Look at, see, we're gonna look, see, we especially wanna make sure there's none under the eyeballs or the mouth. I think I see a little bubble you see right a little there. bubble? Okay. And you always wanna do it a second time, even if you don't see any, right. just in case. So we're gonna do it again, just to make sure we get all the water out from underneath it. Looks like that's all the water. Looks like that's everything. So you can see there's still a little water coming out from the mm -hmm. edge, so it's a good thing you went over it a second time. Okay. I think that should be good. Okay, that's great. Okay, And I awesome. think it looks pretty good. Okay, so it's totally finished and now it's ready to go in the kiln. First, and this- We definitely need to put on the words. Right, well, no, we're gonna put on the words tomorrow. That's oh. a, what? Yeah, we're gonna do different the words thing. different. Stay tuned for tomorrow because we're gonna show you another special trick. Yeah. So this is going to go in the kiln today, okay. and we'll see what happens tomorrow. There'll be a surprise. Is it tomorrow. going to be tack fuse? Yes, it's going to okay. be a tack fuse, and we're going to tack fuse to a normal tack fuse. But if the decal paper has some instructions you have to follow, then make sure you follow their instructions. Yes. Okay. All right. And see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. And we're back, and it's it looks amazing. amazing. <laughs> but why is it brown? That was my surprise for today. We put it in the kiln, and it was black yesterday. And when we took out of the kiln, what? Opened the kiln up, and it was brown. So what happened, Delaney, is mm -hmm. the ink has got the high iron oxide content and the iron is what reacts to the French vanilla glass and so that's what created the brown look oh. so anytime you're using the um, anytime you're using the photo transfer process if it goes into the kiln it turns brown or it could turn pink if you're using white glass it would turn pink but each reaction is a little bit different compared depending on what's in that glass but okay yeah so cool huh mm -hmm. time to put on the words okay and we've decided that even though this is brown we want the words to be black, black. So we're not gonna refire this piece after it goes back in the kiln. So okay. we're gonna leave it black and then I'm gonna give you a trick so that it stays on, okay? So the first one you wanna put the October 2009 on. I'm gonna let you, so okay. slide it in the water, hold both sides, slide it in the water. Three, two, one. Okay, and, then and we're gonna you're count going to start, make sure all the edges and um, start like doing this and seeing if it's going to come off. Yep, start seeing if it's it starting to slide. Like it's coming off a little bit. Okay, not, slide it back though. in. You don't want to. You can count to 25 yep, seconds. It's coming off now, babe. See if it. Okay, it's just keep off. on. And go ahead and slide. Don't worry about the water. Go ahead and slide it off. Remember, take from one side. Very good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, now it looks... center it where you want it to be. Awesome. Does that look good? Mm hmm. Okay, and then we're going to take time our. time to take our paper towel. Yep. And take the brayer. Middle. Perfect. There was a lot of water on that, so we're going to take and move. And go ahead and. One. Yeah, we're going to get another paper. We'll just move the paper towel. Slide it down. Here, go ahead now. Do it there. There you go. Can't really see the middle. So Can't really it. see it. I think that's Did all the Did you press water. on it really good? Yep. We just want to make sure there's no, no, bubbles, no bubbles. Especially under either of the words. Yep. So I sometimes do Do you want this. to do the other one? Mm, sure. Or do you want me to do it? I'll do it. Okay. So it's really important that there's no water underneath the... You get all the water out because if you don't, wherever the water is, there's no. there'll be no ink sticking to the... Go ahead, it's ready to come out. There's no ink. It's not sliding. Okay, okay. Oh, go back in. Is it coming out? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. 
So mm. slide it out. You're doing good. You got I this. I can't. Help. Wait a minute, you got it. Oh, okay. Never mind. Go. There you go. Perfect. And now okay. you want to center it up. Uh -oh. Careful. Yep, there you go. If something happens, you can always put a little drop of water on it and just kind of slide it off like that if something happens. Okay. And then and make sure it's centered. Towel. Is it exactly where you want it? Oh, we can scoot it over a little bit. Scoot okay, it. that's good. Okay. Yep. And go ahead. Paper towel. Okay. Middle. And mm -hmm. So the most important thing is to make sure you get the water all out from the under water the, and mm -hmm. all the bubbles and all the bubbles because otherwise you'll have wherever there's a water or a bubble you won't have that part of the ink on the your piece when it's done okay perfect pick it up slowly or then slowly. it might you want to do one more time yeah. just to run sure. over it one more time just and then to i make think sure we'll be done I, mm -hmm, I think we will be okay okay Ta-da! <laughs> Ta-da! It's, it's done. done! Nope, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> but what's wrong? What's missing? It looks done. Well, there's one more step because this, we kept the letters black and it's not going back in the kiln. That means they can scratch off. So somebody could scratch them off very easily. Uh -huh. So we want to do something to seal them. So what I typically do is I use, there's two products on the market. There's a Mod Podge, which you can paint on to seal it. Or the other thing is, and this is my favorite, is the um, acrylic sealer. It's a spray, mm -hmm. and we'll go out and put three coats of spray on it, and then um, th let that dry for 24 oh. to 48 hours, cool. and it will be finished, and then people can't scratch off the edges. So, but does it, can it be wet, or can it not be wet before you have to do it? It can't, good question. First, you have to let these dry for the three hours first, and mm -hmm. then you go outside and spray them. And then it's and done. And then it's done. Okay. So we have some other examples. Yes. The picture frames are fun. So we made all kinds of different examples for you to see. So this one's very like more mysterious and a lovely picture. This mm -hmm. is a little more fun with the doggy paws on the edge and your doggy. And then this, this one is, is like a vacation picture vacation for like picture. memories of vacation. Yeah. Which and it's really more colorful. Too. So there's all kinds of things you can do with picture frames and photo transfer. Definitely. You can also make the frames different, like you can have heart-shaped ones and stars, but that might be a little hard. <laughs> right, absolutely. And the inside, you could do the inside, like if you didn't want what's behind Mommy and Daddy's head, you could have cut around Mommy and Daddy's head and then just had her or them on the picture. Yeah, so, just like a wiggly wiggly. Right, thing. so you can do whatever you want, yeah. So, so it makes it really fun. Thank you for Jody to be coming in today and helping me with photo transfer. And she also has a printmaking book that also has photo transfer in it. So maybe you guys could check it out and look at it. And also she has a PDF on photo transfer too. And thanks that was for watching fun. the video. Thanks, thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. That was fun. I thought so too. Maybe you could... Come another time? I would love that. Well, bye. Bye. Please, Please like, like our videos, videos and subscribe.